Yes. In tonight's big story, a plea from his mother. KTV News Watch 7's Christina Angal joins us live. And Rob, all that she asks is that the community stop looking the other way and start helping Omaha police find who's pulling the trigger. And tonight, she marched, friends and family by her side, taking that message to the streets. With every step and every sign, a new hope that this movement will help police catch a killer. No more violence! Stop the shooting! No Stop. more violence! No more violence! Violence that took this woman's son, Robin Wallace's 23-year-old Brandon Wallace's mom. He died Saturday, shot in front of his own home. Somebody in that neighborhood decided that the day was the day I was going to lose my child. But before they marched, the people who knew and loved him came together to remember Brandon Wallace, the athlete, the student, thinking the last thing he'd ever be is a target. He was wanting to go back into the schools and work with the kids at coach. He was just trying to find his way like all the young men in this city. A city they say is too often surrounded by police tape. His family says Brandon's never been in a gang, but say this home where they'd only lived six weeks has been shot at before. And they wonder if Brandon's death is a case of mistaken identity. All I'm saying is to everybody, yours could be next. But if we don't really take action, we'll be doing this again. Action that begins now with their message, enough is enough. No more being afraid in your own home, being afraid of your own neighbors. He barely stepped out of his front door. So what am I going to do with this? But Robin Wallace says what she can do is make her plea to the community and hope they hear it. We need to come together and help each other now. I don't want to lose another soul in these streets. Now, Omaha police have not named any suspects, but community members say a suspect may have been spotted at a gas station near 42nd Names, and they hope Omaha police will check it out. Now, if you know anything, you can call Crime Stoppers at 402-444-STOP anonymously, and a tip leading to an arrest in this homicide could be worth $25,000. Reporting live in downtown Omaha, Christina Engdahl, KETV News Watch 7.